asterisk, layman term. Amazon SES, simple email service, is like a reliable and cost-effective postman for your emails. It helps businesses send emails in a straightforward and efficient way. Layman example. Imagine you have a small business, and you need to send newsletters or updates to your customers. Amazon SES is like your trusted postman who takes care of delivering these emails for you. You prepare the content of your emails, and SES ensures they reach your customers' inboxes without getting lost or delayed. It's like having a reliable delivery service for your messages, making sure your emails are sent securely and that they don't end up in the spam folder. Amazon SES helps businesses maintain a smooth and reliable communication channel with their customers through email. Layman term. Amazon Pinpoint is like a smart messenger for businesses. It helps them send targeted and personalized messages to their customers through various communication channels like emails, SMS, or mobile push notifications. Layman example. Imagine you have a favorite coffee shop that knows your preferences. They use Amazon Pinpoint. If they have a new coffee blend, Pinpoint helps them send you a personalized message, maybe through a mobile app notification, letting you know about it. If you haven't visited in a while, Pinpoint might send you a special offer to entice you back, using the communication method you prefer, whether it's email, SMS, or an app notification. So, just like your coffee shop uses Amazon Pinpoint to reach out to you in a way that suits you best, businesses use it to communicate effectively with their customers, ensuring the messages are personalized and delivered through the right channels. Asterisk. Layman term. AWS Step Functions is like a conductor for your application's workflow. It helps you coordinate and automate different tasks, making sure they happen in the right order, with the right inputs, and at the right times. Layman example. Imagine you're planning a party, and there are several tasks to complete, sending invitations, ordering food, and setting up decorations. AWS Step Functions is like your party planner. Instead of managing each task separately, the party planner ensures that everything happens smoothly. You define the order of tasks, workflow, and specify conditions, if this, then that. For example, if the food delivery is delayed, the planner can automatically adjust the schedule. AWS Step Functions orchestrates these tasks, just like your party planner orchestrates the various aspects of your event, making sure everything comes together seamlessly. Layman term. SSM Session Manager is like a remote control for managing and fixing issues on your computer servers in the cloud. It allows you to securely connect to your servers without directly exposing them to the internet, making it easier to troubleshoot and perform tasks from a distance. Layman example. Imagine you have a robot at home that you can control from your phone. SSM Session Manager is similar, but for your cloud servers. Instead of physically going to each server to fix things or make updates, you can use SSM Session Manager to connect to them from your computer. It's as if you have a magic wand that lets you reach out to your servers, check what's going wrong, and fix issues without being physically present. SSM Session Manager provides a secure and convenient way to manage your servers, almost like having a remote control for your cloud infrastructure. Layman term. AWS SWF, or Simple Workflow Service, is like an orchestration conductor for your tasks. It helps you manage and automate the flow of work across different processes, making sure everything gets done smoothly without you having to micromanage each step. Layman example. Think of planning a big event, like a wedding. There are various tasks involved, such as sending invitations, booking a venue, and ordering flowers. AWS SWF is like your event planner who coordinates all these tasks. You create a plan, workflow, for the event, specifying each task and the order they should be done. AWS SWF then ensures that each task is assigned to the right person or team, and it keeps track of their progress. If a task is completed, it moves on to the next one automatically. This way, you don't have to worry about every detail, the event planner. SWF, takes care of orchestrating the entire process. In the end, your event runs smoothly without you having to micromanage every aspect. 
Similarly, AWS SWF helps you automate and manage workflows in your applications or systems, ensuring tasks are completed in the right order and without manual intervention. Layman term Amazon EMR is like a super smart team of data analysts and processors. It helps you analyze and process large amounts of data quickly, so you can uncover valuable insights without getting bogged down by the complexities of big data handling. Layman example Imagine you have a massive collection of puzzle pieces, and you want to find patterns or insights within them. Doing it manually might take forever. Amazon EMR is like inviting a team of experts who are really good at putting puzzles together quickly. You give EMR your data, the puzzle pieces, and tell it what kind of patterns or insights you're looking for, the final picture. EMR then breaks down the task and distributes it among its expert team members, working on different parts simultaneously. This teamwork makes the whole process much faster than if you were to try and put the puzzle together by yourself. In the end, you get a complete picture, valuable insights from your data, without spending countless hours on the task. Amazon EMR is your efficient and skilled data analysis team for handling large data sets. Layman term AWS AppSync is like a smart connection manager for your applications. It helps them talk to each other, share data, and stay in sync, without you having to write a lot of complicated code. Layman example Imagine you're building a chat application. With AWS AppSync, you don't need to worry too much about how messages get from one user to another. You just tell AppSync what data you want to send, and it figures out the best way to get it there. For instance, when you send a message, AppSync could make sure that everyone in the chat room gets the message at the same time, no matter if they're using a computer, a tablet, or a phone. It's like having a magical messenger that ensures everyone stays up to date without you having to handle all the nitty-gritty details of sending and receiving messages across different devices. So, in short, AWS AppSync simplifies the way your apps share information, making it easier for you to focus on building cool features rather than dealing with the complexities of data synchronization. Layman term AWS Workspaces is like having your computer in the cloud. Instead of using a physical computer, you can access your own personal computer desktop from anywhere using just about any device, like a laptop, tablet, or even your phone. Layman example Imagine you have a computer that you use for work, but sometimes you need to travel or use a different device. With AWS Workspaces, your computer isn't tied to one physical machine. It's like having a virtual computer that you can access from wherever you are. So, if you're at home, in a cafe, or at an airport, you can log in and find your desktop exactly the way you left it, with all your files and applications ready to go. It's like having your computer follow you around in the digital world. This makes it convenient for people who need to work on the go without worrying about carrying their physical computer everywhere. Layman term Chef and puppet are like kitchen assistants for your servers. They help you set up, manage, and maintain the software on your servers without you having to manually do every little task. It's a bit like having someone who takes care of preparing and serving the meals in a restaurant kitchen. Layman example Imagine you have a restaurant, and your menu changes frequently. Each time you add a new dish or update a recipe, you need to make sure your kitchen is ready to prepare and serve that dish. Now, instead of going to each chef and telling them how to cook the new dish or update the recipe, you have a special assistant, chef or puppet. If you use chef or puppet, you tell them what changes you want in your kitchen, server, and they make sure everything is set up correctly. They make sure the stoves are at the right temperature, the ingredients are in the right places, and the dishes are cooked just the way you want them. So, when you introduce a new dish, install new software or update existing software, Chef or Puppet takes care of the behind-the-scenes work, ensuring that your kitchen, servers, is always up-to-date and ready to serve the latest dishes, applications or services. Layman term AWS OpsWorks is like having a personal chef for your software applications. It helps you automate the setup, deployment, and management of your applications, making it easier to maintain and scale them without spending too much time in the kitchen, i.e., 
dealing with complex configuration and management tasks. Layman example. Imagine you're hosting a dinner party, and you have multiple dishes to prepare. Each dish requires specific ingredients, cooking times, and techniques. AWS Ops Works is similar, but for your software applications. You have different components in your application, databases, web servers, and more, and each needs to be set up and managed just right. With AWS Ops Works, it's like having a chef who follows a recipe, your configuration, to prepare and serve each component of your application. Whether you're serving a small family dinner, a simple app, or a big banquet, a complex, scalable app, OpsWorks automates the cooking process. So, you don't have to worry about manually configuring each part, OpsWorks takes care of it, allowing you to focus on enjoying the party, your application, instead of spending too much time in the kitchen. Layman term AWS Cost Explorer is like a financial advisor for your cloud expenses. It helps you understand where your money is going in the AWS cloud by providing clear and visual insights into your spending. Think of it as a tool that helps you keep track of your cloud costs and make informed decisions to optimize spending. Layman example. Imagine you have a budget for your household expenses, and you want to know where most of your money is being spent, whether it's on groceries, utilities, or entertainment. AWS Cost Explorer is similar but for your cloud usage. It shows you a breakdown of your spending, helping you identify areas where you're investing the most in AWS services. For instance, you can use AWS Cost Explorer to see if a specific type of service, like storage or computing power, is consuming a large part of your budget. This way, you can adjust your usage or find more cost-effective options, similar to how you might cut back on certain expenses at home if you notice you're overspending in a particular category. In short, AWS Cost Explorer is your financial tool for managing and optimizing your AWS cloud expenses. Layman term AWS Batch is like a super-efficient worker that helps you process a large amount of data or run many computing tasks at once. It's a tool that handles the heavy lifting of managing and running your computing jobs, so you can focus on getting the results you need. Layman example. Imagine you have a gigantic pile of documents, and you need to analyze each one to find specific information. Doing this on a regular computer might take a really long time because there's just so much to go through. AWS Batch is like having a team of super-fast assistants who can read through multiple documents simultaneously. You tell AWS Batch what task you want to perform, like analyzing text, processing images, etc., and it takes care of dividing the work among these super assistants, making the whole process much quicker. It's like having a group of experts working together to process a massive amount of data, allowing you to get your results faster and more efficiently. Layman term Amazon AppFlow is like a digital pipeline that effortlessly moves data between different applications. It's a bridge that helps your apps share information with each other, so you don't have to manually transfer data between them. Layman example Let's say you have an online store, and you want to keep track of your customer data in both your sales system and your marketing tool. Normally, you might have to copy and paste or manually export slash import data between these systems. With Amazon AppFlow, it's like having a conveyor belt that automatically moves information back and forth. For instance, when a customer makes a purchase, AppFlow ensures that the sales data is seamlessly sent to your marketing tool. This way, you can run targeted campaigns without spending time on data transfers. It's like having a helper that takes care of the data movement, making sure your different apps work together smoothly without you having to do the heavy lifting. Layman term AWS Amplify is like a magic tool that helps developers build and deploy web and mobile applications faster and with less hassle. It takes care of a lot of the complicated tasks, allowing developers to focus more on creating awesome features for their apps. Layman example Imagine you want to build a website or a mobile app, and you want it to have cool features like user authentication, file storage, and maybe even some artificial intelligence capabilities. Instead of starting from scratch and figuring out how to set up servers and manage all those features, you use AWS Amplify. It's like having a superhero sidekick for your app development. 
you tell Amplify what features you want, and it takes care of setting up the infrastructure, connecting to databases, and handling all the technical stuff behind the scenes. So, you can concentrate on making your app look great and work smoothly without getting bogged down by the nitty-gritty details of server management and configuration.